Heidi ho there friends and neighbors Bobby here today hey folks today I'm going to do something that I absolutely have no idea what I'm doing I'm gonna to try to fix a laptop jack all right what we have here is an HP Envy is mm -hmm. that correct mm -hmm. a young teenage daughter tells me today that uh, her computer she boots it up it gives an error for a fan problem 90 B was that the code or something like that and then the computer will shut right back down. So I actually got on YouTube myself, watched a couple videos. I think I can handle this. I think I can fix this. And I'm pretty determined because I told my daughter, I said, if I fix this computer, will you go shooting with me at the range tonight? And she said, yes, she would. I've been trying to get her to come to the range and shoot a couple different handguns. So we're gonna, if I win this battle, I get my way. All right, first thing that we're gonna try to do is uh, we're gonna take some compressed air we're gonna flip this laptop over. Let me uh, pause the video, man. I'm gonna find a towel or something to lay it on. Okay, friends, we found something better than a rag. We found an actual foam pad. From my research, I have found out this here is the exhaust area of the uh, fan portion of this laptop. And I believe that this is the intake area because I can actually see a little bit of dust on there. Not 100% sure, but I believe this is the intake because it draws air in at some point blows it out right here so we're going to take a little bit of compressed air and a vacuum cleaner and we're going to see what we can do uh let's see if we can get this thing work without actually, actually taking it apart we're going to try this first all right folks we're going to use our shop back here we got a rigid 6.5 horsepower shop back this thing here will suck the chrome off a bumper so we're going to give this a try first let me get a little bit of this tubing out here. We also have compressed air to blow in this port, and we're going to suck here. So I'm going to work with both of these at the same time, do a little bit of sucking and a little bit of blowing, and we're going to see what we can do. I'm going to blow a little bit of air in each one. In case there's any dust in there, it might uh, knock it around a little bit, then we'll be able to suck it out. All right, friends, <clears throat> before we go any further, as far as taking this thing apart, and uh, believe me, I ain't scared. I done watched a couple videos. I, got a, I, I think I got the tools and equipment and the know-how. I can take this whole thing apart and put it back together. But uh, for now, since we just done that, I'm gonna let teenage daughter here uh, boot this thing back up and see if uh, we actually done any good. We might have already corrected the problem. All right, folks, here we go. We're gonna see if it throws up that era again. And it does. And that's era 90B, okay? So it doesn't look like we corrected the problem. And now we're gonna have some real fun we're, gonna, we're just going to stay here and see if it shuts down right away. Okay, friends, looks like it's going to do the same thing it's been doing. So we're going to go inside where it's nice and warm, tear this sucker apart. Okay, guys, hey, we're back inside, and we're going to start taking this thing apart. Okay, so we're going to push this little lever and somehow or another get the battery out. How'd you do that earlier? Oh, wow, ninja. <laughs> anyway, there's one little screw here holding this cover here in place. See, this computer's different than the one I saw the dude on uh, YouTube fixing. This one actually might be easier. Could be more difficult. I don't know, let's find out. You see, I probably know more about fixing laptops than anybody I know of. <laughs> Ain't that funny? Yep. I'm having a little trouble here. If there's any more hideaway screws there that I can't see. Maybe it slides up. Maybe it don't. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Let's pause the video until I figure out how this uh, comes off of here. Okay, guys. I took a little pocket screwdriver here and just started kind of prying up. I got this side here up. And I think all I gotta do is just kind of keep working that around. It just has some snaps here and there. So I'm going to just continue doing this until I, there we go. That feels like it's free though. It's just <clears throat> snapped together all the way around. 
So we're gonna keep working with a little screwdriver here and we'll get this cover popped off in just a moment. Okay guys, hey, we got the cover off and yes, it was just like these little snap tabs all the way around. Just had to get them to release and then all of a sudden it uh, popped right off. I think this here is the flux capacitor. <laughs> uh, that's needed for time travel. So our fan unit is over in this area over here. So it looks like we're gonna have to take a little bit more apart. We've got a bunch of screws to take loose and a bunch of stuff to try to pop loose. And so we're gonna continue doing that. And we'll show you how we do that here in a few minutes. Let me get all the screws out first. Now guys, I'm talking about these screws here and they're just kind of uh, spread all the way around. Here's one, here's one I just took out. Uh, possibly this one has to come out here, here, here. I mean, there's several scattered around here. We're just going to take everything loose that we see and before we start trying to pry anything. Hey guys, just want to show you something. I'm still battling trying to get this cover off of here. It felt like something was holding down in this corner, so I ended up prying the little rubber feet off of here that the computer actually sits on, you know, to keep from sliding around. There is a screw underneath each one of these on this side. But I went ahead and pried off the ones on this side too. Don't think I really needed to because there's not a screw on these. You can see where uh, it was actually preset for a screw, but I actually did not have one. So I just want to let you know that right quick. You will have to pop just these two off. You can leave them two in place. Okay guys, hey, we finally got this thing where it'll separate. And what I had to do, we had to go back up to the uh, hardware store and get like a set of these little uh, screwdrivers, real, real small screwdrivers, like for um, eyeglasses and so forth. And we end up having to take one of the smallest um, uh, straight blades, actually back out all the little screws around the battery. So we finally got that loose and now we're trying to see if we can move this thing without unplugging the hard drive. And I'm not exactly how to unplug that strip. So we're gonna see if we can work around that. Okay guys, hey, there was a little wire <clears throat> right here. I don't know what this is, but it did have a normal style connector on it. I took a little pocket screwdriver and I got it unhooked. And I think what I'm gonna try to do is twist this thing now and leave this strip hooked up. And I believe I will be able to do that. And yep, there we go. We have accessed the fan on this unit. Oh, look at that big old dust ball right there. Oh, there's a screw wedged in there. Ain't that awesome? I think we found a problem because uh, there was a screw that we noticed that was missing on this corner right here on the laptop when we started messing around with it. And somehow or another, that screw is wedged in that fan right there. So I think that's the problem. I bet that's the screw that come out of there. So all we gotta do is get the screw out and we'll just do that with a magnet probably right here. Yeah, it's kind of, oh, look at there. And you see how the fan moved? It just snapped right back in place. So we're gonna put this laptop back together and I guarantee you this sucker's probably gonna work. Okay guys, hey, one more thing before we put this thing back together, we, we started trying to snap the bottom back on. Notice this hinge was wedged up. This was the whole problem before, I think, because she, for a while, she said it had had a gap back here where something, you know, it didn't fit quite right. So what has happened, the screw head here is fitted into a nut cert down here in the plastic and the nut certs come out and that's why this thing's all jacked up here and probably why it forced the other screw out and somehow or another that screw or possibly one that looks like it could have been located right here at one time ended up in the fan so we're going to take a pair of needle nose and try to wiggle this hinge out i'm going to take that nut cert off of there and just do away with it the hinge will be kind of kind of uh, floppy here for a while so you just have to be careful with it but at least i think we can get this main body screw back into the hinge here so it should give it a little bit of stability so we're going to work on that a little bit and then we'll get this thing back together see if it works okay guys hey we got this thing snapped back into place we worked on our hinge a little bit we squirted a little bit of penetrating oil on the hinge got it laid down used uh, one of the the screw that we found in the fan we actually uh i think i found out where it come from and we located it in there and i think we got that where that's going to be working properly now but i will tell her to <clears throat> make sure she's real careful opening this thing i still think that hinge is just kind of bound up 
anyway right over here um, we plugged our little connector right here in. I don't know what this thing is I'm not a computer expert I'm a mechanic automotive that is but uh, anyway uh, we put our two screws that were underneath the uh, what is this thing here? The hard drive. The hard drive, okay. Whatever That's the, the hard drive. That's the thing that gives you the storage. Oh, okay, awesome. Okay, we put two screws in. We're getting ready to lay it back in place. We never did unhook this little band wire connector because I wasn't sure how to disconnect it. We were able to work around that. So we're installing this back into place and then we're going to start the tedious process of putting all these little screws back in the real tiny ones went right here around the battery pack and then we got several located across here and everything so we're going to get all this stuff back together fire this sucker up and see if she works and i got a feeling she's going to work like a champ Idy ho there friends i got a big old smile on my face you know why because i don't have to buy my daughter a computer check it out we got it working all right now it took us a little bit actually when we first tried to boot it up it kept sh shutting down so we had to get on the internet we found what, what, what did we do this call what was this called a like a shutdown without a battery to like reboot it or something like that anyway we, we took got the it battery working. out and plugged it in yeah took the battery out plugged it in and let it boot that way and it finally it had to go these hp computers have to like do updates all the time. Seems like they update like 23 out of the 24 hours of a day. But anyway, we got it up. She got all her stuff to come up on here. So it looks like we actually successfully fixed the computer. We can definitely hear the little uh, fan running now. So that's definitely running. We definitely fixed that problem, friends. And uh, I'm kind of happy. Are you happy? Yes. Is your daddy a genius? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Anyway, I'm happy because I just done something I've never even attempted to do before. So now friends and neighbors, if you want your computer worked on, send it on over here and I'll tweak with it and get it working for you. <laughs> All right guys, take care. We'll see you next time. Leave us a comment down below. Maybe give me some tips on doing this if I ever have to do it again. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.